different Wi-Fi's and I in a you know my phone automatically connects to them so I uh, I have to make sure that I keep it dang it man my dogs are all over today I'm walking on the sidewalk um, I'm going a different way uh, I have something I have to do real quick uh, this morning so this is a little different dog walk um, not some of the not, not a lot of the uh, beautiful uh, <laughs> scenery of usual this is a Walgreens and uh, we're gonna cut through the parking lot here um, this is uh, well the rest of Albuquerque uh, what there is of it it's not exactly the greatest place in the world um, come on dogs can we stop Pete look they all see this is what happens, man. They all have to stop and smell, and it takes them like eight fucking years to go anywhere. Sorry, I shouldn't have swore like that. I tried to keep this kid friendly. It takes them eight freaking years, okay, to decide they're gonna pee on stuff. Come on, we gotta go. I don't wanna be out here all day. So, yeah, this is uh, Walgreens. Blue used to be afraid to walk past the door here because he was afraid that it, uh, when it opened, it was going to be the uh, the vet, and that I was going to take him inside of it. So, <laughs> so it took a long time for him to get over that that phobia of uh, basically anywhere, uh, everywhere. He thought everywhere was going to be the uh, the vet. Unfortunately, come on, dogs. See, Lady thinks that if she digs around long enough, she'll find some garbage. Uh, and then the other two just want to pee on everything. Like, that's their whole goal in life. Uh, come on. Let's get through the parking lot. Come on. Early morning dog walk while I go do something I gotta do. Um, I got a new doctor's appointment coming up. Uh, it, of course, we can't go in and actually talk to doctors anymore. So my doctor appointment that I have set up now is for a video conference. So I hope I can get the help I need. Um, it's 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 uh, I lost my insurance a little bit ago due to this like screw up. I'm still dealing with the screw up, which is like part of the reason I've been having like to be gone the last two days doing phone calls is because I'm having to get everything fixed back up, which is extremely frustrating because dealing with the government is not fun. It's really impossible. Not, not, not just because under normal circumstances, it's a pain, but all the offices are closed due to COVID. So now all of your uh, interviews and everything have to be done on the phone. So you gotta like try and get these appointments scheduled, and then get them get people to call you back, and like it's just so insane. Like uh, this COVID thing is craziness. Like I'm so I'm so tired of it. I I, I mean I don't know anybody who has it, and I know people do get it, but um. The, the death rates here from it are, are so incredibly low, it's almost negligible. I mean, it's about the same as like the flu or, or like, I don't know, bronchitis or something. Not even the flu. The flu is like, the flu kills like 70,000 people a year here. Like, we have like maybe a thousand deaths from, from coronavirus. So... Yeah, I live right by the freeway, the, the highway, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what you, you would call it in um, the UK. Um, uh, we, we have what is called the interstate. Um, it's a bunch of like giant roads that are really boring to travel on because they're just straight roads with nothing to look at the whole way while you drive. Um, uh, yeah, it's not a fun fun drive. I, I feel bad for people who have to do it. I've done it uh, a lot um, back in my days when I used to hitchhike and stuff. Um, it was one of the reasons that I liked 
it was one of the reasons that I liked riding trains so much because you see things that you don't normally see because trains don't go the same way as cars do, you know? They go these really cool ways. And you see like really cool stuff and it's fun because you drive past these old factories and there'll be people standing outside and they'll see you. They'll see you on the train, you know, standing in a boxcar or whatever. And they all wave and stuff, you know what I mean? Like it's like, it's fun, it's cool, you know? And people, people like that, you know? Like, it, it, you know, it's just one of those things because now it's, it's weird for them and it's interesting, but it's also a part of, it's, it's a part of Americana if you want to call it that, like this, this Americana that doesn't really exist so much anymore except within this like small group of um, punk rock kids who still are out there um, riding the rails, you know, like doing, doing the old, the old like, they, they do like um, the transient farming and stuff, you know, that you go and you, you, you go and you do the blueberry pickings and you do the apple pickings and you, like, you know, I don't know, you just do stuff like, you do all kinds of cool stuff like that. Like, there's just like whole communities built around it. And it's a pretty nice, tight knit community. Most of us know each other. We've met each other. We run into the same people over and over again in, the, in different towns. It doesn't matter. I've run into people uh, in, um, in New York and then I've run into them again in San Francisco. You know, opposite sides of the country. I mean, I've been to, I've been to both sides of the country. I've been to both oceans. Uh, I, I prefer the, the West Coast. Um, the, the Pacific is more my place. Um, I would be quiet because somebody's probably sleeping. They always are interested. They they wanna they wanna check out the homeless people, and I always have to pull them away. It's fine, you know. I mean, they're just trying to be friendly. They just they like don't understand, you know. Uh, they're dogs. What can I say, right? Dogs are awesome. They like care about everyone. They just care naturally. Let me push this little button here. Uh, all clear for me. Let's go. And away we go. So yeah, this is a lot of like what my neighborhood is like though. Just sort of like streets and this is a factory. Like this is a whole like section of town that's all like factories and stuff. Um, come on, this is a bike path. Um, I would go up the bike path the other way, but this time of day, um, this early, it's really, it's not, it's not safe. Um, Sorry, lady's having, I don't know what's wrong with her. She's getting old and I worry about her all the time. You okay, sweetie? Yeah, there's um, there's a lot of homeless camps down the other way. Um, and uh, most of the people are, are, are friendly, but you'll run into those people who are hard up for some money, for some drugs, and um, they'll, they'll mug you. I've been mugged. Um, three times in this city uh, so far. I've, I've never been mugged in my life until I moved here. Um, Albuquerque is not a safe place, okay? It's a, it's a dangerous place. Um, we literally have a part of town here. I'll, I'll go up there one of these days. Um, it's called the War Zone. Um, I'm not sure if that's where the uh, Punisher got the idea for the name of that comic. It could very well be. Um, but, uh, yeah, these, this is the way you gotta get around places around here. Um, we have to walk right next to the highway to go places. There's no other way, like, this is how you go places. Um, the other day I made that whole rant about how the, the Bureau of Indian Affairs put up a fence on a city street and basically, they make us walk right next to the highway, which I think is insane. I'm not even sure that's legal, to be honest, but um, 
Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone who's watching. Uh, this is, right now, what you're getting to see is one of um, the most beautiful things ever. Hold on, let me stop for one second so you can see this. This is the sun rising over the Sandia Mountains. Those are the Sandia Mountains out there, and that's the sun starting to come up over them. And it's just, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Um, I just wanted to stop and take a minute and, and share that a little bit. I try and get pictures of it when I can. Um, I, I do my best to try and capture like the beauty of um, Albuquerque because uh, this is one of those places where the beauty and, and the ugly live so close together that sometimes it, it's hard to, to tell them apart, it feels like. Um, but yeah, like I, I, I like getting up and, and getting out early um, with my dogs, um, early as I can. I, I, if Lady would get up and go with me at like 5 or 5.30 or so, I'd totally be like, heck yeah, let's, let's go for that walk. But she's still a little freaked out by the fireworks, so when it's dark out, she's still a little scared. Um, yeah, I, this is, there's just so much of this weird stuff around, like this, the, the like fences with like stuff, and I don't see anybody ever do anything with it. I don't know what the stuff is, what it does, like nobody ever does anything here. I've never seen anyone <laughs> like do anything with any of it. Um, it's, it's a, it's a weird place. Uh, there's a lot of these like empty lots like this um, people live in here um, they're really good at disguising uh, their campsites but there's probably people in here right now uh, sleeping uh, there's homeless camps all over where I live and like I said I live in the middle of um, a city you know what this morning I, I think I'm gonna do something since I got a little extra time this morning I'm going to go down to the dog park and uh, I'm going to show uh, what, what exactly happened to the dog park and why nobody goes there anymore. It's kind of a, it's kind of a sad thing, um, but it's, it's part of Albuquerque and I've been trying to really like, I don't, I don't want people to see just the good parts of Albuquerque, I want people to understand it. Albuquerque as a whole because you can't understand me as a whole unless you understand the place where I live as a whole um, because Albuquerque now is a part of me it makes up a part of me um, I'm more careful than I used to be I don't go out at night not that I went out at night a lot but I used to go out early in the morning so like I used to go out at like four in the morning to like walk around and stuff with like my dogs and everything because it's quiet it's a real quiet time of day um, nobody's around it's just it's peaceful it makes me feel good um, because the rest of the day is so noisy and it's full of so many smells and um, it, it, I, it, it's it's over it's overbearing for me like it's like an overload um, I always try and explain this so when you have autism um, all your senses seem to be turned up to 11 and I can smell someone's cologne or perfume like a block and a half away and the people don't even notice it and I'm like gagging on it, it it's so strong to me um, the sounds there I wear headphones all the time because it keeps the sounds um, out it keeps that that confusion out um, I know people are like but you you play really loud music that doesn't make sense well no it does make sense because it's my music it's it's mine I own it it's my distraction my distraction from the chaos because this isn't chaos to me the loud music is is just a, um, a way for me to uh, filter out the craziness uh, I don't think I could 
I, I, I can't walk around without headphones. I can't do it. it it's too much. Uh, it's too many sounds. Too much stuff happening. It's very, very confusing for me. Um, I get confused by people and what the, I, I don't know. I get confused by what people want. I don't know what they want. I don't understand what they want. Um, they 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 give off these these signals these these nonverbal signals that I, I don't pick up on. I don't get it. I don't know, and I, I'm not sure like which. And and I, sometimes I think I'm doing the right. Uh, signal back you know like a smile or, or whatever you know and it turns out to be the absolute wrong thing like um, I, I don't know I don't know how to explain it uh, hopefully uh, through enough of like me doing videos like this of just me like walking around and showing what my experiences are like walking around being in in this city um, maybe people can understand that's, that would be something that I would hope for. Um, I hope everyone's enjoying this. Um, this is, like I said, a very different walk than I normally do. Um, I have to go run an errand real quick. Um, when I get down to the corner, I'm going to turn off the, uh, the camera because I have to go pick up some medication and... Uh, you're not allowed to use uh, cameras when you go to pick up medications. It, um, I guess, is against the federal law, and I don't want to get in any trouble. And uh, so I will stop, but I will turn it back when I, as soon as I'm done, um, I just have to run in, go to see the pharmacist. You know what I mean? Like grab the stuff, come back. Um, and then um, I'll be done and then we can go and I'll take us down I'll take everybody down to the dog park with me who's who's still around who's interested and we'll go we'll go we'll go see um, what what's going on down there it's um it makes me sad but I don't know that's just me it, it, that place meant a lot to me I, I it was a place that I went every day and um, I knew everybody there. And I didn't have to talk to anybody. That was the best part of it. I could just walk around with my dogs and um, nobody, would, nobody would force me to talk to them. Um, if I wanted to talk to them, I could. And um, sometimes I felt, you know, very chatty. Other times I don't. Um, and, and it was okay. And so uh, it was a place that I felt real comfortable with. And uh, I never had to worry about, like, when I went there, like, people... Okay, so this is where I'm going to kill it real quick, uh, and then I'll be right back.